Today our tongues hop on the treadmill. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. As an engineer, mm. I appreciate machines with multiple functions, like the treadmill, for example. Okay. It serves as both an exercise machine and a clothing rack. Well, I like the man spreading machine. You know, the one that you put your legs into and then you open it and close it and you open it and close it. A thigh master? Yeah, I call it the man spreader. <laughs> okay, have you ever considered using the man spreader for food delivery? Because we're about no. to see which one of us can keep up with food as it comes speeding off of a treadmill into our mouths. Because getting exercise has never tasted so good. It's time for Mama Always Said, Don't Eat Too Fast. Well, sorry, Mama, this looks too fun to pass. Sorry, Mama, I didn't mean to yell. Welcome to the treadmill zone. All right, we're about to put our mouth-eye coordination to the test with a series of challenges using these treadmills. And each round is gonna feature a different type of challenge. And to make things interesting, we're gonna have a speed-related trivia question at the top of each round. If you answer it incorrectly, you get some sort of disadvantage. If you answer it correctly, the other player gets the disadvantage. Whoever wins the most rounds will become a treadmillionaire oh, and receive wow. a very lucrative prize. Is this a mistake? Is this gonna end in disaster? Let's find out. All right, gentlemen, as you can see, your treadmills have been set up with lines of goldfish. Yes. And there are more to come because Chase and Caitlin, who look like little cute middle schoolers for some reason, will <laughs> be guys. distributing. You're on your break? <laughs> yeah, their middle school break. <laughs> They'll be distributing the exact same amount of goldfish to each of you as the treadmill runs. Your job, of course, is to eat as many goldfish as possible. And Rhett, you have the trivia question this round. Please go ahead. I have a question. How yes. fast is this gonna go? We're gonna find out. I mean, we haven't seen this in motion. <laughs> we have not practiced. Well, here's the thing. Has anybody certified that this is not stupid? Well, I, I was thinking uh, just a second ago, um, you have a slight advantage in that your mouth is bigger, but I have a slight advantage in that I eat more. But I also have a beer that may just get ripped off by this thing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll grow back. <laughs> All right, give me that trivia. Um, Link, is that your name? Yeah, buddy. What is the name of Keanu Reeves' character in the 1994 hit movie Speed? Ah, shoot. A, Jake Ryan. Okay. B, John Thompson. Or C, Jack Traven. Jack Ryan or Jack Traven? Jake Ryan. Jake Ryan. Jack Ryan, Jack Ryan is Traven. a whole nother thing. Jake <laughs> Ryan, John Thompson. Jack Traven. I'm gonna go with Jack Traven. <laughs> Sounds like you're not too confident. I am not. <laughs> but you are right. Yes, and I have seen it. So you get a disadvantage, what, which what, is... What's my disadvantage? You get a fancy little eye patch, sir. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay, you're gonna lose some depth perception with that. And I guess we need to assume the position. Yeah, and uh, Link, your question about how fast these are going, I actually know they're going .6 miles per hour. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, please assume the position, open your mouths. <laughs> uh, this is gonna hurt. I, I mean, mean, should I, I drag mean, my lip the, on this Not thing? having depth perception no. is it's gonna... It's kind of rough. Okay, we're gonna turn on the treadmills in three, oh. two, one, go. Uh, oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 I got my feet. Oh, oh. 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 There's all these little crumbs and giant spots of saliva on Rhett's side. All right, and time. Oh, he's got a whole bunch in his mouth. 
I'm actually eating them. <laughs> We're going to have to go to the panel of judges on that one. Give us one second. We're going to bust out the fish scales to determine who won that round. So these trays caught all the goldfish that we did not get into our mouths. And by measuring these, whoever has the most goldfish is on the tray loses this round. Now, I will say, since we didn't establish the rules, I just took eating, meaning eating. So I was eating my goldfish. <laughs> I was I not was, just putting them in my mouth. Well, I was going to eat them in a batch. So I caught as many as I could in my mouth. And then I was looking for an opportunity to eat, which never came. So I just kept <laughs> I just kept stuff in my mouth full, which I think I reached a capacity that you may still but want. moving and forward. And then I ate afterwards. If it's in your mouth at the end, it ca counts as eaten. That's 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 the thing. That's well, there's different yeah. rules for different rounds moving forward. So I'll, I'll be a okay. little bit more explicit. It's okay. I can tell this is really weighing on you. Yeah, it is. But I, we I mean, weighed I had an eye patch. I'm just the gold. I didn't lose oh bit. yeah, the eye patch. Sure, that's that's it. Rhett, you had 33 grams of goldfish left, and Link, you had 28 grams of Very goldfish close. left. Comes down to that mouth capacity, and then I just ate them in a big batch. Gulp? No, you didn't. You spit them out of a trash can. I watched you. <laughs> you seem to be going faster, Stevie. Oh, yeah. We're kicking it up a notch to a whole two miles per hour. Whoa. Faster than you would think. So for this round, you're going to have a mix of meatballs, chicken gizzards, ah. balls of liver, balls of cat food, and turkey testicles on your treadmills. Are you serious? Oh yeah, you can see them in those <laughs> little buckets that the little kids are holding. Whoever gets the most they look meatball. Pretty similar. So your objective, there's not gonna be this whole like, did you chew, did you not thing going on here. So your job is to use your mouth to place the meatballs and only the meatballs. In the bowl? In your bowls. Okay. So whoever gets the most meatballs wins the round. Uh, you're going to have the same amount of meatballs dropped onto your treadmill. So, uh, Link, you have the trivia question this time if you want to kick that off. Yes. And what's at stake is the disadvantage of David Hill tickling one of us in the neck with a <laughs> feather duster. <laughs> or on the neck. I don't know if you're going to go in the neck. <laughs> okay, Rhett, here you go. Which of these species is the fastest? Ah. Is it A, the black marlin? B, the greyhound? <laughs> Not the bus, the dog. Or C, the hummingbird, the bird. <laughs> Did you say the black marlin? The black marlin. It's a fish. A uh, marlin is a fish, dude. Yeah, but I haven't heard of the black marlin. But I'm not like a marlin expert. <laughs> it's a superhero amongst fish. A bird is freaking fast. But I don't know, I don't think it's faster than a greyhound. They're known for racing. We're not racing hummingbirds. Greyhound. <laughs> The Greyhound can run up to 43 miles per hour. The Hummingbird can travel at 61 miles per Whoa. hour. Whoa! But the Black Marlin, <laughs> well, it, don't get me started. Uh, they've been recorded stripping line off a fishing reel at 82 miles an hour. So you were wrong. David Hill, go over there and get ready to I gotta tickle, go fishing for Black Marlin tickle Red's often. neck. Go on, don't be shy. Go over there. You're gonna tickle his neck. All right, guys, he assume your positions. Advantage. Black Marlin. <laughs> I'm gonna move with the speed All right. of a Marlin. You ready for balls in your mouth? I don't think my ball, my mouth's big enough for these balls. Here we go. In. Just hit my freaking lip on this thing. Three, two, one, go. I don't even know what the, tickle, oh, that's cat tickle, food. Tickle, tickle, I thought tickle, that was a freaking. Tickle, 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 tickle,
<laughs> oh, goodness <laughs> Christ. Yeah, give me that other one that fell all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. I did it. Did you okay. Time up? Your book okay. is empty. Okay. I, Man, that was I, so that was so ticklish. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chase. There's uh, my bowl. But the problem is, look at uh, this crap. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't want this on my yoga mat. Okay, kids. How many balls we got? Eleven. Thirteen. God. Oh, lucky number thirteen. Uh, that was it. Was the tickling. It was the tickling that really threw me off. <laughs> While we're down here on the dirty, dirty ground, Jeez. I want to remind you about Good Mythical Evening, y'all. You got to get your tickets. Remember, this is a live ticketed event for mature audiences only. Things are going to get really dirty. <laughs> we're very excited about it. Hope you are, too. It's all going down on October 28th. Get your tickets at goodmythicalevening.com. Goodmythicalevening.com. Okay, guys, this is the final round. It's worth three points, so right, you can still tie it up. I've seen the pain oh. of loss on your face. I, for I the love past a tie. Rounds. I love a tie. <laughs> I'm a okay. big fan of ties. Well, do you like licking nasty things? Because that's what you're about to do. You are both going to be licking something nasty off of your treadmills for as long as you can take it. And the first person to stop licking, licking. loses the round. I'll okay. let you define licking however you would I put my tongue like. on that thing? What? I put my tongue on this treadmill? Lightly, yes. Well, it looks like, what, icy? Well, it looks like icing, but it actually is horseradish. Oh, uh, gosh. So this should be fun. It's for something, but I wouldn't follow it up with radish. <laughs> Everyone but you guys. Um, so to to determine the disadvantage for this round, I'm going to ask both of you a trivia question, and then whoever is closer to the correct answer to is saved from the disadvantage. <laughs> How many bones are in the human foot? In the human foot? Yep. Uh, thirty-two. I was going to say. Uh, I was going to say twenty-seven. Ooh, it's 26. Oh! <laughs> so, um, Link, you will be enjoying a lovely breeze during this round in a the breeze? shape of a uh, a fan just at your face, basically. Okay. Boy, this is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to withstand this, <laughs> this huge breeze in my face. I don't know how this is Hold a Hold on. Advantage. Is it on right now? Yeah, it feels... Your hair is barely moving. <laughs> it feels, oh, there we go. Now it's on. I okay, feel so like that's an advantage. I feel a little cooler now. <laughs> <laughs> we have set the speed back to 0. 0.6, not to worry, we're not at 2. And So it's uh, got to go in our mouth. So you you use the you term gotta, licking. Lis well, listen. on your tongue, I would say. It's got to go on your tongue. Yep, practice. That wasn't a tongue lick. Yep, 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 there you go. But, but then it's just going to, I'm going to just spread it all over the treadmill. Pro yeah, probably. I think I figured it out. Instead of putting your tongue on top, where it kind of pushes the tongue back in your mouth, Put it kind of under the edge, uh -huh. and it's going to convey going right into your down your throat. I think right into the throat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Here it comes. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh. 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 You win, man. You win because it was, I, I mean, oh, I don't know if I got a bad... No, I lose, man. Trust me. <laughs> I lose. Did you swallow anything? No. Here's, here's the thing. Mm, I can oh. look. I can look at your treadmill and see that there are different things were happening. Yeah. What are you doing? I do <laughs> it. Like I was licking it, it, but it was like it was just kind of oh. going off of my tongue. It was. Just, it just wasn't accumulating in my mouth. <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't. It didn't even go in your mouth. It did, but it didn't build up. Oh God. Just, I my mouth's too up small, in my mouth. man. Uh, I think it's clear that Link is the winner and everyone else is the loser. Uh, <laughs> I would also be a loser uh, in this. Oh, I'm a Trent billion. Oh, yeah, thanks for the last second adjustment, David Hill. A million dollars? Wow, I'm going to go 
black marlin fishing with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're tough to keep up with. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sean from Eugene, Oregon. I just gave blood to help save lives. Now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Thank you, Sean. Click the top link to watch us decode the meaning of old-timey crime and punishment terms and get mythical more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Join us on October 28th for the big one night only and mature audience only event, Good Mythical Evening. Get tickets at goodmythicalevening.com.